guys, it's Blurry, and I'm back with another Seventeen video. We're moving on to their second mini album. So we have Monse. We're gonna watch the music video, and I have the one pulled up that has like the English lyrics with it. Um, and then they have like three different dance practices. We're gonna watch the making film of it, and then they have like two special videos i think is what they're called i think it's like a part switch and then like a performance video so i'll check all those out in this video and then over on patreon i'll watch the live performance like when they do their comeback performance on like mnet or something like that so um yeah let's start with the music video and i do i know this song from the killing voice video so i know like the gist of what it sounds like but i don't know the lyrics are like the whole thing, you know? Yeah, all right. Say the name, 17, yeah. They might say the jester. Might say something out your back, boy. Boy, came when I was a man, boy. Say, I'm so stupid. So just a man. Did he like getting hit or what, what was that? What was that little smirk? <laughs> Hold on, let's go back to when they did that dance all together, because that was cool. Like, they all did that, like, move and moved forward, and it was so in sync. I feel like I always point out how in sync they are, but it's just, like, shocking to me, because there's so many of them, and they're all, like, different heights and stuff. I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. S Coops was so cute in this. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it was. But he was standing out to me. Um, yeah, I feel like I wasn't expecting this song to be about what it was. Just from like, because I only remember like the monster, 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 yeah. Which, what does Monse mean? Because there wasn't like a translation for that. So I don't know what that means. But yeah, I don't know. When I just like heard that like chorus, I just wasn't expecting it to be like all that. And then like, I like how they, like I said in their um, other dance videos that I like how they always like have girl background dancers and they're not afraid to do that because I feel like a lot of male idol groups don't do that because the fans get upset um so I like that they had like women in the music videos and stuff even from like debut like back then so it's cool that they just like started out like that and then they're like just keep it going so it's it doesn't like feed into the delusion that like they never talk to women you know <laughs> Because I feel like a lot of groups are like that. I also wonder if there was like a blue theme going on. Because I feel like at least three of them that I saw had like blue hair at the time. Like Jonghan, I think it was Hoshi, and Mingyu all had blue hair. So maybe it was like a... And this is blue. Is this always blue? <laughs> I'm just wondering if there's like a whole theme for it. But, um, oh, there's a little after scene. <laughs> Look how young Dino looks. He literally looks like a middle schooler here. I mean, he could be. I don't know how old he was. That's insane, though. He looks so young. <laughs> I mean, they all do, but him especially. Um, yeah. Okay, I mean, I love the song. I already knew that I liked it from the Killing Voice thing. And the music video was definitely like a, it reminded me of like a K-drama that's set in like a high school, a Korean high school. But yeah, let's move on to the making film of it. All right. I noticed that they had that little scene where it was just like the performance group, um, like this scene, and I didn't notice if there were scenes where it was the other groups as well, like separated. I don't think there were. I think it was just them. I love that, like, there's no captions on this, but I love that I could basically tell, like, what he said. <laughs> like, you don't have to show off your English skills. Like, we all know you're born in LA. Probably something like that. <laughs> Why is that me like watching anything? Just the cringe? <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, they probably had to do that dance so many times, like over and over, <laughs> till they get it like perfect and right, and then they like, get like the perfect clip for the music video. Yeah, I just assumed that um, in the making video they didn't have like them talking. I just thought it was like clips of them recording. So sorry about that, because there's no like English captions on the the parts where they're speaking. Although there wasn't many parts, so it's fine. Um, it's just a quick little video of their like behind the scenes. I'm assuming like as i go along and get like further down the line of their music they're gonna have like full making films that like they post because i think these are it says at neighbor so i'm assuming this was just posted on neighbor and not like an actual thing that they put out themselves but i thought it was still cool to check it out and see like what the behind the scenes was like and i feel like my face hurts so bad from smiling and i really love the part right before the monster 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 yeah um, Hoshi did it. I don't know if he does it every time, but he did it for the part in here. And I really like that part, like the melody and everything. But okay, let's move on to the dance practices. There's three different ones. So this one is the follow me version, whatever that means. I guess I'll find out. Yeah. All right. Say the name. 17. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Can we talk, like, just look at Dino's face in the back. Yeah. All right. Say the name. 17. Yeah. They might say the gesture. Might say something out your backbone. Say, I'm so stupid. So just a link, man. You got the ramp, put a pie, take easy. Go bring him away, yeah. Okay, that's the part that I like. So I guess Joshua does it for the first chorus, and then maybe Hoshi does it for the next one. But yeah, the whole like melody of that is so nice. Also, like, it's just so funny how young they all are. But I guess, like, the follow me version is, like, the camera just has, like, the main focus on whoever is, like, singing. Like, the main person. <laughs> I feel like they're such like theater theater kids. <laughs> like 
because <laughs> when I'm watching these dance practices, I'm always looking at, like, I try to look at everyone that's on the screen. So, like, I'm looking in the background and stuff, and they are, like, actors. Like, I feel like they should be performing this on, like, a Broadway show, not just, like, a music video. Because <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, they're just, they, like, really play into, like, the characters that they're doing. If you watch the people in the background, you'll see what I mean. Hey, I feel like Mingyu and Wanu oh, look exactly the same, but they're just like more filled out now. But everyone else looks like younger. But I don't know, especially Wanu, I feel like his face looks exactly the same, but just more like filled. Like he, he put some like muscle on. <laughs> also, what is this? Seek version? Hide and seek? Okay. No idea what's about to happen with this one. Okay. All right. Say the name. Seventeen. Yeah. So this is filming from the back. <laughs> is that like what? Is that all the hide and seek version is? Wait, this is kind of cool because you never see, like, a performance from the back unless you're backstage. Like, <laughs> this is so random that they chose to do this, though. And also, it must be weird, like, like they're not facing a mirror or, like, a camera or anything. So they're just performing into, like, the void. <laughs> but, like, whenever they're, like, in the back, the people just play up to the camera back here. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm done the only. I'm not even 
I wonder like who came up with this concept, the hide and seek versions and what exactly it means. And this is the hide version, so I guess I should have watched this first, but it's fine. And this looks like it's facing the right way. But I'm just wondering like, what's the difference between this and like a normal, a normal dance practice if it's facing the right way? Yeah, all right. Say the name. They might they need a gesture. Might just have to have to beg for it. Boy, they will not commit for it. Oh yeah, one thing I did want to say about the last one that I just watched of their backs is like the guys that are wearing the guys that are wearing shirts that aren't white or black, you can see like the sweat. It's like <laughs> their whole back is just wet. I'm so stupid. So just a late man. You got the ramp out of pride, Jackie. Go work in the way there. But she young eat on the Oh. Is it because, is this the hide version because you can't see the guys like that are waiting on the sides here and then the other one is the seat because you could see it throughout the whole thing? I don't know. Yeah, Dino's dancing is like crazy. He's like really into it. <laughs> yeah, this part's funny because it's like, well, besides all the people in the background doing like the theater stuff, but it's funny because like, Woozy's just like singing and then <laughs> you have the two like, I guess main singers is what they would be called in this, like the ones, I feel like they get like the most high notes, I guess, um, them like in his ears just like belting. <laughs>
<laughs> I just noticed um, DK over here having his like singing moment while everyone else is dancing. <laughs> Okay, these are fun. I'm assuming that I got it right with the hide and seek thing, like that we couldn't see like what they were doing when they would walk like off the stage, like out of the camera. And then the seek is like, you could see everything from the back. But yeah, these are a lot of fun. I feel like when I first listened to the full song, like when I watched the music video, I wasn't like super excited about it. Like I really, I love the chorus because I like already knew it, it was in my head. But then like the rest of the song, I felt like it didn't fit with the chorus. But after hearing it so many times now, I feel like it's really grown on me already. <laughs> and like, I love the whole song now, but especially that part that's right before the chorus. But it's so interesting how like, you hear a song for the first time and you're like, hmm, like it's okay. And then like, you just listen to it over and over and it's like, it just changes the way it sounds for some reason. Okay, we got Monse part switch version. So again, I don't know if they put like the little, the little thing in the bottom. I feel like I know maybe whose part is what, just cause I watched like three dance practices. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Sorry, I'm trying to read like what the building says in the back as well. I don't know if it's even in English. <laughs> you know, something university. Rhyme Young University? That's really pretty. Okay, is Dino's hair like sticking up straight in the back? Is that like the style that they were going for? That like the hairstylist styled on him? <laughs> Cause I noticed it in the other videos too, but I just assumed he had like bed head or something. I don't know. But yeah, this seems like he would be styled that way. So maybe it was like a cool thing at the time. I don't know. I've never seen someone's hair like that. Good. 
Okay, so I feel like some of this, like, has to be somewhat planned, right? Because, like, they had, like, that whole, the whole scene where they, like, and they all, like, went one way, and then Wanu came out, and then, like, Han jumping on Mingyu at the end, and, like, just kept doing it. I feel like some of it is set up, and then some of it is, like, jokey, maybe? I was curious, like, if it was just... If you feel like taking over someone's part, then you just shove them out of the way and take their part. Because that's kind of what it seemed like in the last one that I watched, like when they were on the beach. And that one might have been like not as planned out as this one because they were just like on a beach. And it was also like their first, it was their first debut song. Um, yeah, so I'm curious to see like as these go on, if they're more like planned out like this one was. But they're still really fun. It's fun to see, like, who chooses which part. And I feel like Soon Kwon and Vernon were, like, going after each other's parts. And also, I'm surprised Soon Kwon isn't in a K-drama already. Or at least that I know of. I don't think he is. But I feel like he is really good with acting. Like, the way that he kept getting, like, jealous when someone else would, like, take his part. I don't know. It just seems, like, really really good acting and he might not like translate to actual acting but i don't know he does it really well okay so this is the last video for this video um it is the performance and behind cut version whatever that means we'll find out yeah all right say the name 17 yeah they might gesture not me just now understanding the whole crank the arm he comes up <laughs> oh god i feel like a big idiot i've watched i've watched them do this choreography like six times now maybe and i'm just now understanding this sorry Okay, so this version has them separated into their units. And they might have been in the music video, but I only noticed the performance unit was separated. So these, like, I don't know. They might be in the music video and I just didn't realize. Okay, 
Okay, the the music sounded like further away and quiet. Just letting you know, that's not like just from my video. It's like that in this video. <laughs> but I like that um they like have their separate separate units that do like their own kind of not theme, but like I don't know. They have their own vibe. Like the hip hop unit was dressed more like hip, and then like the performance unit is all colorful and stuff. But then the vocal unit, they had like their own little, um, what is it called? I cannot think of this word. Where they're like standing in a certain place, structure. That's not the word, but that's all I'm gonna get right now. Um, yeah, so they each had like their own thing and then they all come together. So I think that's cool. And yeah, again, they're seriously like theater kids. And I think people might have commented that that that's like what they're known for or known as but i could definitely see it in this this like music video in this era they're definitely like playing up the kind of like acting roles and like getting into who like their character is and then like in the background like stuff like that like <laughs> it really shows yeah hopefully you guys like this song enough to watch this video because i just <laughs> you just like have to listen to this song like seven times or something in a row so hopefully that wasn't annoying but um yeah i'm gonna go check out the live version on patreon now and that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for watching this with me and i'll see you next time bye <laughs> Thank you.